Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cece and I'm going to be teaching you guys beauty from the inside out. Today I'm going to be talking about your emotions and just communicating how you feel to people. I feel like a lot of people struggle with that. Before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know I am filming outside by my lake. It is so beautiful out today in Miami. It was just thunderstorming less than an hour ago, but if the wind is bad, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't really think that through when I came outside. Okay, I really, really, really wanted to film outside for you guys, but the wind is really winding. But to get straight into today's topic of communicating your feelings, I just want to let you guys know that I even still struggle with this myself, but I'm going to teach you guys ways to communicate your feelings and why I feel like you should be free communicating your feelings. I feel like holding on to negative energy inside of you just kind of, it's not good for you. And it's good for you to just be free. And to do that, sit the person down and tell them how you feel or send a text. Sometimes for me, I'm personally better when I write things out. I feel like I can get my point more across in a calming manner. If you are coming to someone angry or upset, my advice to you is to sit with it first before you just straight up go to that person. Because people feed off of the energy that you give them. So if you're coming to someone angry, then they're gonna reflect that energy right back into you. A lot of times when you are communicating things to people, the first thing they do is get defensive, right? And it should not be like that. You should just be able to sit down and say, hey, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm not trying to go there with you. I'm just simply telling you how I feel. How you choose to handle my feelings is your decision, honestly. And if they're not giving you what you want out of that decision, then just tell them that and take a step back and do what you have to do in order to make yourself happy. Listen, you can only control yourself. What I'm trying to say to you is just because you are coming over to someone communicating how you feel and they become reactive to that, that's not really your issue. You can only control your issue. So it's important to ground yourself before you have these hard conversations with people, or even if it's just a simple conversation. People don't know how you truly feel until you let them know how you feel. You can't expect someone to just read your mind or understand what's going on internally inside of you unless you just tell them. There's a lot of times where people have done things that bother me and I'm thinking that they know just based off of how I was raised that I feel like what they did was wrong or I would feel like they were raised in a similar pattern to me or just think or communicate very similar to me and truly they don't and truly they don't even understand what they did wrong or how I felt like what they did was wrong because it's really not about who's right or wrong, right? It's just about that person understanding you but they don't understand that until you let them know that people are literally so oblivious so sometimes yes i just feel like sit that person down and tell them how you feel if you feel like you have to sit on it for more than a couple of days i don't really suggest that because a lot of times people don't like i said people don't know what's going on and if you wait too long they're also going to be like why didn't you tell me earlier you know you don't want that to happen either for me personally, when I don't tell someone how I feel, and I learned this about myself, it's because I don't feel safe communicating to that person. I don't know if they're going to judge me, if they're going to go crazy on me, if they're going to look at me like, what the hell are you talking about? So it makes it hard for me to personally come to them and tell them that. Try to create a safe space for people to tell you how they feel towards you. Because if people feel like they can't approach you, that's not necessarily a good thing, right? We don't want that. People should feel like it's easy to approach you or they should feel that you are a safe space, especially in a relationship. Relationships are not just boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife, I'm even including friendships. People should feel like if I have a problem with Cecilia, I know that she is a safe place that I can go to and tell her what my problem is. Don't intentionally make people feel like they cannot come and talk to you about what's going on with them, right? Because then what's the point of even having that kind of relationship with that person? 
it's no point. At that point, I just feel like, why are they in your life? And you should make room for people who work hard and come towards you communicating their feelings towards you, right? That's very important because those kind of people are people that you need in your circle that you can treasure. And yeah, try not to be that know-it-all person because that's another thing. <laughs> you know, there's so many things that go into this that make people not want to come to you or you're just so snappy when someone comes to you or you're overly emotional when someone comes to you. My advice when you're having these deep conversations literally is to sit with yourself for a couple of hours a day, maybe two, ground your energy, ground yourself and say, okay, no matter what, this is how I feel and I'm going to come to this person as calm as possible and as true to myself as possible and I'm going to just tell them how I feel and honestly, you feel so free once you do that. Holding on to internally to all of this negative energy is not good for us at all. And even if you don't get what you're looking for out of that person, it's just super good to release it. I can't stress that enough because we can't always expect people to understand how we feel when we're communicating how we feel. We can't expect that. But the goal is to do it for yourself and to make yourself feel free of whatever it is that you're going through internally and so that you are a better person to the world because that's the goals here you guys we're trying to be better people to the world we are not holding on to trauma we are letting it go we're healing ourselves and just becoming butterflies <laughs> that is my message for you today i hope that you are able to take it and apply it into the real world in some kind of way i hope you understood what i was telling you because it's really simple just be calm tell people how you feel and don't expect a crazy reaction from them back don't expect them to understand how you feel just feel okay letting them know that you got that off of your chest Okay? I love you. I hope you have an amazing day.